guys, welcome back to my channel, Side Street Market. I am Christine, and tonight I am bringing you a haul video. I am excited to give bring you this haul because this is a giant box I have from Goodwill. I think I thrifted this back in the start of July, and I have not had a chance to get to it. It's been sitting in my garage. I know I have lots of goodies in it, stuff I want to get into live sales. If you don't know, I do do a live sale once a month on my YouTube channel and about 85 to 90 percent of the items are vintage so just stay tuned to my channel be sure you subscribe and head on over and follow me on instagram at side street market to stay up to date on all my latest happenings i'll let you know when videos are coming and let's hang out and dig into this box and uh, see what i got today so the first thing i got which was kind of cool is this was actually ten dollars but it was a container full of figurines so I thought that would be neat, and we'll see. I'm hoping I got some good items in here. My Goodwill is finally starting to uh, do the, like, grab bags and things that people, other uh, I've seen other resellers get. So, of course, I don't have scissors. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. For $10, let's see if I uh, I made my money back. Well, this is cute. It's a little girl hugging a dog. Now, if you guys know what maker this is, it seems like this is a series of some sort. Just let me know. So we have her, and I really like her. I don't see... I see there's maybe like two little imperfections. You can't really... See those two little white dots where it looks like the glazing didn't quite reach the dog. But I think this would be cute in a live sale. So that was a fun find. We've got that guy. And then along the same lines, and again, the stickers have been covered and removed. So we have a little girl with her dolly and her bird, and it's that blue and white ceramics. They all do need a little bit of scrubbing, so they will get a hose down afterwards. Yeah, all the labels have been removed. This one's cute. I guess it's two kids on a seesaw. So I have that one. I'll have to look up and see if I can find out what this line is. Oh, this one actually has a name, the Sender Collection. And this looks like a little boy praying in a pew. So I've got that one. Oh, everything's intact. This one's really pretty. All of her flowers are intact. She's gardening. This is a really cute one. Look at her. I like her. All her flowers are intact. That's pretty. So, so far I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have seven figurines. I only paid $10. So even if I were to get $4 a figurine, I would still make my money back. This one is cute for a wedding topper. Look at these guys. I would put this on Etsy and mark it as like a, a vintage style wedding topper. She's got her little dress on. She's holding a little flower. So yeah, if you guys know anything about this line, please leave notes in the comment below. Sorry if you get some super close-ups. And this one is a cute Mother's Day one. You have a mom reading to a little boy. They're all in excellent condition. So that wasn't bad for, like I said, seven for $10. So that, I think that was a good buy. And I have a new Tupperware container for storage. So let's see what we have next. Oh, we've got some paper. Oh yes, this one was, I was excited for. This is very heavy. So, um, but look, it's a black lamb planter. So this will definitely show up in a live sale. It is heavy. It probably weighs a good pound or two. I'm double checking because now I'm looking to see. It looks like it had a bow around its neck. You can see there's kind of, do you guys see that? I'm sorry if there's a glare from all the lights. You see how it kind of has some marking? Like someone may have actually attached a bow at some point. That is no longer there. And there's only one little spot where the paint has worn. Like I said, there's no maker's mark. This is heavy though, so it's an American piece. But I thought that was really cute. 
Yeah, and so this one is dated August. Oh, this one's dated August 6th. So maybe this haul isn't from July. This might be from the start of August. Oh, this is a cool one. So for those people who like the Tonal, is it, I think it's the Tonala Ceramics. This is actually a combination metal and Tonala, which is the Mexican pottery. So this is like the bottom's hollow, but it's metal, and then it's got the ceramic with the painting on it. So this one is really unique. So I'll definitely be putting this in my Etsy shop. It's a bigger owl, I would say. It's probably at least a good five inches tall. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My allergies are so bad this week. Aww. And then I got, this is just a little wall hanging. And it's about mushrooms. So that's the inside. And then, so this is the part that sits on the outside. Meadow Fairy Ring Champion field cap. Oh, it really, it's all different types of mushrooms. So this is a cute little wall hanging. And I guess you could have it on either side, or maybe it's a spoon rest. But you know, I love mushrooms and people like mushrooms, so I picked that up. I was really excited to get to this haul to show you guys what I got. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is something I'll probably check and put on eBay. 2011. It was just a Star Wars cup, and I thought that might be a good eBay item with the Christmas coming for people who like Star Wars, and since Princess Leia, Leia is no longer with us, I thought that that would be kind of a collector's piece. And if I said her name wrong, I apologize for all you fans out there. Then I found this, which I think is very cool. It's definitely got age. It is a vintage wedding cake topper. The flowers are a little crushed, they show their age, but I thought someone might still love this and they could replace the flowers. So I picked this up from my Etsy shop. There's a little wear on the bride's head and the groom's head, but how neat was that? I've not seen things like this before. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm so glad you guys could join me this evening and hang out for my haul video. Then I got this. It's a home painted piece for anyone who likes koalas. It's just a cute little koala figurine. This may go in my vintage booths while I still have them. I am closing my booths the end of December to just uh, try something different in 2021. So this guy may go in there until I close down. Unless one of you want it, you can always email me. My email's below in the comments. Aha! I knew I had. Okay. So way back a month or so ago, I had a haul where I had found two strawberry mugs with the gold decals, and then I went back and I found the rest of them. So now I have four, and I've been waiting to get to this haul to do this, and I'm pretty sure they're made in Japan. You can't read it anymore, but they do have that silver sticker on the bottom, so I'm pretty sure they are Japan. I just don't know what brand. So I will probably have these in an upcoming live sale if I don't put them on my Etsy. Actually, these probably wouldn't hit a live sale until January. Let's see what else. Well, as, as you folks know, I am the queen of Afghans, and I can't get that one out yet. So let me see. Oh, yes. I remember what this was now. This was an item I had picked up from my booths, so I wanted to get it in to my booth before the end of the year. This is actually a modern piece. It is from the World Market. It may also go on my eBay. I don't think the seal's working properly on it. Hold on, let me... Sorry, guys. This guy needs some cleanup. But it is this lovely Asian doll cookie jar. The head comes off. And it is World Market originally on the bottom. So I was thinking this would be cute to put in my booth. As just something different. I really like the colors. Okay, here my cats are getting to the newspaper. We'll put her over there so these guys can all get scrubbed and washed and you know all that good stuff. I've got my Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter Be Brilliant shirt on today. Okay, I'm trying to get to this guy but it's, oh I think they wrapped stuff in it so that's why it was heavy. So then I found, since I love Afghans, 
this beautiful crocheted blanket. It's brown and tan and white and green and a little bit of red. So I was really excited to find this one because it's kind of different and not a pattern I've had before. So this will be up in my Etsy shop as soon as I give it a good wash. All of my afghans, I use Woolite Gentle Cycle um, unscented and I just do it once in the a washing machine and then I put them on a drying rack in my garage to dry because the heat helps them dry quickly. I don't use any fragrances and stuff because as someone who is allergic to fragrances, I know I hate it when I get stuff and you open packages and you're just overwhelmed by any like potpourri smells. And then someone had donated their collection of brass items. So I cleaned up on that. And I think this one may have been part of that. And I want to get to these two because I've been collecting brass pieces that I want to get in my Etsy for the holidays. So we have quite a few things here. First off, we have this lovely antelope, brass antelope, that kind of, it kind of kneels. And the pricing wasn't too bad on these, so I picked him up. Then I thought these were really cute. And this one actually says made in Taiwan. Mama duck and all the babies, and they are a single piece. They have the felt on the bottom. I paid up a little for these guys, but I, I just thought they were really cute with the mom and dad and the two babies. Then I got a little bird for all my little bird people. It's probably about only two inches tall by two inches wide. So I'm hoping to have like a whole, I was intending to have a brass shelf in my vintage booth, but with leaving now and I'm going to be running sales, I'm probably going to end up with like a section um, on my Etsy in the around the house section. I'm going to have a whole bunch of brass figurines. And then lastly, I've got this little guy because look at his face. Just a little frog. So I actually got four pieces and I think there were a couple of others there I just didn't get to. Sorry guys, I've got notifications popping up. Let's see, what else? Oh, I was so excited to find this because I've never found one of these intact. I may actually keep this for me for a little while. But it's one of those, is it, I think it's called a terrarium. But the butterfly wings are intact and the wheat and everything. Can you guys see that without getting too much glare? I just thought that was really cool because I've not ever found one where it wasn't all shaken up and the insides were a mess. So I picked that up and that could end up in my Etsy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about shipping. This is the only thing. So if you guys have any tips on how to ship those, if you shipped that type of thing before, let me know. Then I got this guy and I almost didn't buy him because all I saw was from the side was this sitting up on the shelf and I'm like, oh, look at all that plant stuff. But then I realized, you guys, it is a giant owl planter. Check that out. So I'm going to get all of this out of its head and tossed because it's dusty and gross. And then he may be in a live sale. Because it's kind of heavy, but I have to get all the plants and stuff out first. And then we'll see what the true weight is on him. But I was like, it's an owl. It was in one of those sections. It was mixed in with the craft supplies, which was really weird. And that's why at first I was like, what is that? And then I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cool. So... That was, I think that was all that was in that one. Oh, some random leaves. And we are on to our last bag of goodies. So if you guys have liked the video so far, be sure to remember to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can stay up to date. Like I said, I try to do two videos a week if I can. Um, coming in November and December, I'll probably slow down to one video a week just with the holiday season. I want to enjoy the time with my family and I do take time off usually the last two weeks of December and just prep for the new year. So I probably won't have anything then. So just kind of hang in there by a plenty of, I think I have over a hundred videos on my channel. So there's plenty of stuff to keep you guys entertained through the holidays. So then I picked this up. I'm not sure why. Made in England. Just a cute blue and white piece. Ooh, something smells in here. 
I'm gonna move this. I think it's like the floral was scented in some way. So we're just gonna move that off to the side for a minute because I'm getting whiffs of that and whew. Let's see, these I picked up for me. They are, um, they are vintage Christmas ornaments. They are the cute little spirals in red and green. So these are for my vintage Christmas tree. So excited to get those. Let's see what else I have. I picked this up. I'm not sure what this was that I picked up. So let me open this up a little. I think it's like a ceramic tea light set. All right, I need scissors. Sorry, I'm not more prepared, guys. Like I said, I don't remember. I didn't remember what was in this one because it'd been a while since I thrifted it. So, okay, so these are all little handmade, like coasters, and they have a little tray that goes with them. So this is the ceramic tray. The Kiln Shack. The Kiln Shack is what it says on the back. So someone made this little tray. And then it has all these cute little trinket dishes that come with it. Someone put little blue stars on the back. And it says K. So you have these two. These three. And then this one is really pretty. It's like a Delft blue. So I'm not really sure what all of these are. And this one may not be part of it. I think this is actually like a Delft blue. So what I'm probably gonna do is break this apart and sell these as little trinket dishes. Um, I think these would probably do well in my vintage booth before it closes or in a live sale. And then I'll have this separate as well because I think that's pretty. So that was one little packet. That was cool. You know, just different things. It was slim pickings there for a little while. So I was kind of just grabbing what I could. This is neat. This girl had been sitting there for a while. And uh, she's a wall pocket towel rack. Now I think her little cord might need replacing. But what I would do is I think I would take this off to ship her so it, she doesn't get damaged. But she's just a cool little wall pocket for hand towels. So I thought she was different. She does have one little chip in her blue right there. So I picked her up. Let's see, what else did I get? This feels like a bookend. Oh, this is cool. Hand painted in 94 by Vicky. It's a cute little ceramic napkin holder. It does have one little ding that probably happened in transit. But that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll pop that in a live sale and see if anyone, in like the summertime I'll save that and see if anyone's interested, because it is hand-painted in 94. That's cute. I have four more items, guys, so thanks for hanging in there with me. Okay, these guys I picked up, they are some of the, like, mushroom and tomato. Where are you? Ones, these are the older ones. I do not believe these are the repops, but I like to sell these as planters, and they do well in my Etsy um, if I list them as succulent planters, especially the mushroom one. And I may have gotten two of those. Aw. This guy I must have picked up for fall for my booth. Just a cute little fox mug I thought someone would like. It's probably a Target brand. But those are always fun to put little plants and stuff in for fall. And that's why I wanted to get to this, uh, do this haul because I'd had this sit in a while and I'm like, I think I have some fall stuff in there I need to get out to you guys. Let's see. What? All right, I don't know what I was. Oh. So I have these random salt and pepper shakers. They're lavender and they have this K symbol on the bottom. They are ceramic, so I'll have to look them up. I probably got them because I wanted to research what the bottom meant. And I thought the color was different. <laughs> so I heard a noise and the whole pile of newspaper next to me is moving across the floor because um, Chappie, my youngest cat, is in the middle of the newspaper. Aw. I, 
don't know what I was thinking. I was just picking up stuff, you know. Like so you get you get in the zone, and then later on you're like, so these are Lennox. Apparently, I bought a pair of Lennox, just Lennox bunnies. They may have been the color of the day, so these will end up going on eBay for um, next Easter in my little Easter collection. And that's actually it, guys. That is my whole haul. So I think out of everything, my favorite items were the Owl Planter. I absolutely love this guy. And I think the Lamb Planter. I think those are my three favorite. But I did get some cool stuff. So let me know below, guys. What you what you like? What you think? What wouldn't you have got? If there's anything you saw that you know about, let me know. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you soon in another video, probably a live or a shop with me or a DIY. Lots of fun to be had, so check back with my channel, guys, and I will see you later.